My guest today is a member of Dead. He is the lead singer. His name is Joe Cotella. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm great, man. How are you? Fine, thank you. I, I want to know how the music come in your life at first. How did music first come into my life? Um, well, I guess it was around my household. Um, you know, my, not, neither of my parents are musically, uh, they don't play music, but they listen to a lot of music. So um, there was a lot of, um, you know, Bruce Springsteen and um, Michael Jackson and Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and all that kind of stuff around when I was little and the Beatles, of course. Um, and I just grew up, and I remember my dad used to quiz me um, on bands and stuff, and if I would know music and that kind of thing. And I guess it just kind of stuck with me. So it was something that that I always really enjoyed. I would just run around singing, you know, the, the stuff that they that they grew up listening to. I guess. Just to know uh, why singing or play guitar. Uh, some boy uh, have a thirteen, fourteen years old. Uh, want to play the guitar like a rock star, like a Slash. Yeah. Uh, just uh, just to name a. Uh, Uh, a big name uh, of the uh, Gun and Roses. Uh, why singing? Why singing? Um, well, I also played guitar, so I, I learned how to play guitar um, when I was pretty uh, decently young, 11 or 12. I think I got my first guitar. Um, so I did want to play guitar as well. Um, and it just ended up that I, as time went on, because um, I wanted to be, you know, I really liked corn and I really liked, like, Um, Nirvana and stuff when I was really little and um, I wanted to be them and then um, and then it just found out that I, that I kind of started singing um, when I got more into like pop punk and like punk rock because um, I play guitar and sing in my first like you know little band and then I just ended up being able to sing so uh, I just went with that <laughs> Who is the inspiration of Deb? Who is the inspiration? Uh, well it's a lot of things it's a lot of different things I mean the main The main um, inspiration for it, the main idea behind it when we sat down and decided to do it was um, was to make something that, that was uh, like a lot of the bands that it sounds like, um, it's some, you know, bands like, you know, uh, System of a Down or Slipknot or Korn or Pantera or um, stuff like that, um, where we felt like those bands were huge and universal. And they had this sound that could go, you know, all over the place, but they were still really heavy and dangerous sounding. And um, that was something that, you know, we felt like wasn't getting tapped into as much anymore as it used to. Um, and we feel like that's what rock and metal needs is that dangerous feeling, that that genuine um, kind of alternative feeling to it to make it exciting again, at least for us to listen to. Um, and so that was, that's the, the general idea behind it. Um, and so it was bands like that. Definitely. Um, you know, we, we, we went back and listened to that first Slipknot album. Like we like studied it, like we were in class. Um, we did that with corn. We did that with white zombie. Um, and then we wanted to infuse it obviously and in bring it into a modern time, um, with bands like bring me the horizon or bands like, um, turnstile or di different stuff like hardcore stuff or, or, uh, you know, uh, metalcore stuff and, and, and modernize it as well. So that, that's kind of the idea behind it. Before uh, that, Dan, uh, you play in the Mad Made Machine. Uh, can you tell me the difference between the two bands? Yeah. Um, Mad Made Machine was more, was more just like straight up. Um, it was more influenced by like earlier, er, earlier um, kind of, I guess like, post grunge type type stuff like we're we're trying to you know do a different thing and you know like I, we write all kinds of styles of music you know um and and so I, i'm always kind of trying to go for something i guess when i write something um so this is a, yeah this is just a totally different band this band's way heavier than man Made machine uh this band is um just a lot more ferocious um and a lot more a lot more pulling from a lot more influences and really harnessing like my heavier past because i was always in like way heavier bands. Um, Man Made was kind of a, was kind of a stepping away from heavy music because I was just kind of at the time a little over, you know, breakdowns and, and hardcore at the time because I had done so much. Um, I was in a band called The Cover Up before that. That was kind of like, it sounded like every time I die um, or like, you know, throw down or something. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just, you know, I love all kinds of music. You know, I, I'd love to have a reggae band. I'd love to have a, 
you know, a freaking, you know, folk band. I, I love everything. I want to play it all, but, you know, you can only focus your time and energy into one thing. And, um, and so we're real, I'm, I just, I feel like I, I shine when I'm playing heavier stuff. I'm really good at, at really harnessing my anger. So. Can you tell me what is the, the, the type of, um, of, of them uh, you use uh, in the, in the lyrics? The type of what? I'm sorry. The type of them. What is the, what is the term, the main term of, of that? This is horror. This is, I know, I, I read before that, uh, you want uh, to, like, like an horror movie, but in a song uh, with lyrics to describe like a movie. Mm. Yeah, well, um, the lyrics necessarily aren't about a horror movie, but I guess in a way, yeah, I like to, I like to really get into that, the, that, you know, we all have like this dark, kind of like a dark passenger in us, uh, or like a, you know, that dark side of us. And I really want to tap into that, that part of myself when I'm doing dead. Um, and it's really, you know, therapeutic in that way, um, where I go into that part of me that I'm maybe not. Maybe in, you know, in my in my most conscious self, I'm not super happy about, but I do have this really deep, shitty. Oh, sorry, really dark. I don't know if I can swear. A uh, really dark, uh, rough side of me, um, and and that's what that's what that is. So yeah, I might get into the mindset of maybe somebody from a horror movie um, or a serial killer or something like that, and just get really really sick with it. Um, and in that sense, it's it's a bit of a fantasy in that way. Um, because I do love horror movies and, and we do want with a lot of the soundscape, David, uh, does a lot of programming and we did want to make a lot of weird noises and make it almost feel like you just watched a horror movie. Maybe when you listen to the song, um, you know, like how you feel after a horror movie. Um, and so that's, that's definitely something, you know, that's, that's, that's a part of it. Incorporating the feeling, um, of a horror movie. When the first album uh, our release and uh, how do you, can you describe it? Yeah, uh, it's released July 14th. It's called Misanthrope, um, and it's uh, we did it with John Feldman, um, who is from uh, the band Goldfinger. He's he's a big time producer. He just did uh, the new Blink 182 album. He's done Disturbed. He's done Beartooth. Um, a lot of a lot of bands. Um, and that, that comes out in July and, um, I would describe it as a full length album. It's got, um, a lot of really, really heavy stuff and a lot of really cool, catchy kind of, you know, punk, hardcore, metal, rock, all kinds of stuff mixed together. And a lot of different influences. We wanted to mash together the best parts of everything that we enjoy about, about rock music. At this time, you, you know uh, that uh, you have two single hentai everything, F M F Y. Um, this is the, the the best song of the album, at your point of view. Are they the best songs? Um, they're songs that that I enjoy for sure. I mean, I, you know, your songs are kind of like your kids. I think, um, especially once you get to the ones that you actually that make the album. So, you know, you love them all differently um, and, and maybe not more than others. But, um, no, there's some other ones on there that, that, that definitely uh, touch me in different ways. And it depends on, on the day, you know. Like some days I'm way into one song and some days I'm going to do another one. Um, there's a song called Architect on there that is one of my favorite songs. Um, it's probably the heaviest song on there. Um, There's a song called Inside that I'm super into um, that I love. There's a song called Dead to Me that was the first song we wrote with John Feldman um, that I really love. I mean, there's, there's a handful of stuff on there, and there, and it's all over the place too. So you're gonna get a lot of different vibes when you hear it, um, and it's uh, you know it's um, it's a cool, it's a roller coaster. I know that uh, for you, it's uh, probably uh, one of the the biggest and exciting tour you have. Um, soon with Corn and Stone Sour, two big names. Uh, it's a big opportunity uh, for them. It is, yeah, and that's um, also Yellow Wolf is on that and Skill as well. I mean, it's 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 a crazy package to be on. Um, and we're going out with Corn actually uh, in May as well. Corn uh, in a band called Animals and Leaders, who's really cool that everybody should check out. They're really um, really uh, technical. Um, Yeah, so we're going out with Corn twice, actually, May and July. Um, and yeah, we're, you know, them being one of, you know, one of our biggest influences as far as this band goes. And, and one of the bands that made me want to play guitar when I was little. I mean, I, I used to just have like cutouts of Monkey and Head 
on my wall, like I'd buy every, you know, guitar magazine they were in and cut out the pictures. And I covered a complete wall with corn stuff, like in my room. It was at top to bottom, left to right, you know, um, cut up uh, photos and, and um, posters. And so it, it's like, you know, yeah, it's it's absolute honor, man. They, they created a genre. They created a sound when they came out with those with the seven string guitars and the groove that they brought, you know, Pantera brought it first and then Korn brought it to a whole new level with how like sludgy and groovy they were. Um, and still are their new album's amazing too. So, I mean, um, and then having, you know, Stone Sour with Corey Taylor, I mean, Stone Sour is amazing. You know, we love Slipknot as well. Um, you know, so it's, yeah, it's, it's great, man. It's like we're, to get out there and play with those guys and, and warm it up for them and, and, and hopefully um, share some, some of their audience, you know, hopefully people dig it. And that's, that's, that's killer, man. We're, we're just, you know, we're just going to enjoy every minute of it. According to Joy Dordison and uh, Corey Taylor, uh, Quebec and Montreal have uh, an amazing fans. It's possible to see that uh, in Quebec or Montreal in uh, 2017 or 2018. Um, I don't know right now. Um, I know a lot of tours are being booked. Um, and I get, you know, some emails with some of that stuff, but, um, I'm not super hands on exactly yet. Um, we're still a new band and building, but, um, I would love to come there. I would love to come everywhere. Um, you know, I know that the rest of the guys would too. So, I mean, um, yeah, you know, when, when there's a demand for it or when there's a tour that, that we can go there, I mean, we'll, we'll be there for sure. Just last one for you, uh, Joe. Tell me what is your dream? What do you want to accomplish? Of uh, what uh, can we wish uh, for you? What would my dream be? Yeah. As far as as far as music or uh, music, yeah, <laughs> in music, but in your life too. Well, my dream would be, you know, in in my life, my dream would be world peace for sure. Um, but um, my for music, man, you know, I'm. I, you know, I have to say I'm, I'm kind of doing it right now, you know. I think this would be my dream, but ultimately, you know, to be a band, um, you know, like like a Korn or or, a, or an Avenged Sevenfold or a Metallica, a band that has a really strong, you know, diehard fan base um, that, that, you know, you give back to and they give back to you. And, um, you know, creating a community around that, I think that would be, that would be my dream, you know, like as far as music goes, for sure. Joe Cotola, thank you very much for your time. And uh, at my point of view, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a. It's not a stress for me to say that Dad have a a big future. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. We're working hard on it, so th that means a lot. Thank you for your time, and hope to see you play in Quebec or Montreal. Yeah, absolutely, man. We'll we'll work on it for sure. <laughs> 